Okay, we have the second day of this series of videos on the S-Man. Getting it ready to go out in the field. I hooked up the hoses since last night, yesterday. It's been 14 hours now. I left this on the vacuum pump overnight. Uh, I just arrived back here at the shop about 15 minutes ago. And I turned off the vacuum and turned the unit back on. I was down to 101 microns after sitting all night on this vacuum pump, continuously on non-stop. Was only able to achieve 101 microns, and I'm going to bank this up to possibly this hose, because this is the new equation that I have added to uh, my test that I have usually never tanked. I'm going to put the uh, blue silicone vacuum rated hose on here but even so overnight 101 microns i've turned it off 15 minutes ago so after 15 minutes the microns have risen to 1200 microns that was with the addition of these three hoses all night and i purged them with nitrogen three times uh, i just tried to just see if uh i could help a little bit uh didn't help made no difference the valves are open on these hose um, for these hoses to the manifold so they're not closed off so it's actually reading within the hoses these are all tight and sealed at all the ends and even after sitting last night for several hours since there were new o-rings new o-rings give some of their elasticity up and when you go to tighten them you'll notice they're loose again and you can tighten them a little bit more not over tighten them just finger and just a little snug and you'll notice all of a sudden they loosened up a little bit. That's a problem with new O-rings too. You never want to use new O-rings in a test will cause leaks. You have to get them seated in and loosened. Uh, tightened up. They lose their elasticity and you have to find where they're going to relax to. So compensating for that, putting it back on the vacuum pump all night long, was able to get down to 101 microns turned off the vacuum source for 15 minutes we have risen to 1200 microns this is where brand new yellow jacket hoses as you can see right here yellow jacket brand new out of the bag the charging hose plus rated to 800 psi and they fail if you were going to do now for automotive you you know guys are going to do what they're going to do automotive kind of take corners but for hvac guys working on hard line sets. This is one of the reasons why you do not use vacuum hoses trying to do a vacuum decay test. I was down to 101 microns. It was sitting on the vacuum pump all night long. Turned off the vacuum source. Brand new gauges, brand new hoses. And in 15 minutes it decayed back up to 1200 microns. That would be a fail. You would not want to exceed, five, uh, say, 500. I prefer somewhere in the 200 range would be nice. If you're in a refrigeration and deep freezers and stuff, you definitely don't want to be much over 200 microns. They've got sloppy in the industry and actually raised the standards up to 500 microns. And so this is a fail. So now i got to find out why. I have another set of hoses to test over here by Just Better, JB and but what i'm going to do here is take these hoses off just in case i'm going to pull the seals out of all the ends of the hoses i'm going to put a little silicone grease on them reinsert them uh, back in their captive little housing that they're in reperform this test and i'm also going to get rid of this hose right here and I'm going to switch it out with the silicone blue deep uh, vacuum hose from AccuTools. And that'll be, but this is just showing brand new gauges, brand new hoses, fail. 15 minutes from 101 microns with the vacuum pump on and the vacuum source open. Immediately close the vacuum source off 15 minutes later, fail. That's it. So this is second video. There will be a part three. And this was all the way down below 10 microns at this end, at the sensor in here.